All right, here we go. It's Miley here, and welcome back to Grim Dawn. Um, let me remember where we are, because it's been a little bit of time since I played, and I can't remember exactly what I was doing. I was going to secure the portal. We were just making our way up, weren't we? And we were going to look for that sanctuary along the way in case we get the opportunity. Uh, so I believe, yeah, we may as well just set off. Whitmere is the closest we've got so far. Okie dokie. Um, let me logic some stuff. Did we get much further? Oh yeah, we did that uh, cave thing. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was cool. Okay. So we did actually get some stuff done. Uh, I feel like we've explored this and it hasn't remembered that. I feel like this cloud saving business is a bit shit. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anyone because it doesn't seem to be working all that well. Hmm. I don't know. It's also possible that I have skill points to assign that I'm not going to assign because I'm a horrible... Nah, I'm going to do it. Um, <coughs> right, so soldier traits. We want to start doing this, don't we? No. That's a bash. Um... Really, that looks good. I like that. Let's go for this. So, let's just sink a load of points into Archer for now. Uh, uh, just into the general system for now. Um, I swear I've leveled up a point of devotion. Okay, whatever. 15 offensive ability. Uh, Twelve offensive ability. Poison damage. Whoa, cool. I like this. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. Um. Nice. Oh yeah, and we can oh no, we've done that. Okay, alright, alright. Stop dicking around now, I'll stop playing the video game. Dun, 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 dun. I've got freaking the Frozen soundtrack in my head. I was just, um, I've just been shopping with my girlfriend and a bunch of her housemates. Um, on the way back, someone bought like Disney soundtrack, um, the Disney soundtrack CD. But it wasn't, it wasn't like the Disney soundtrack CD. It was a load of them for karaoke. So just with the music and no lyrics. And I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I mean, I had a fantastic time and I was burling out those Aladdin tunes. But you know. I can't admit to that, right? <laughs> can't admit to the fact that I was having a banging time. It was it was good fun. We had a good time. There's no real need for me to explore these areas, but I may as well do it. Like this kind of playthrough, it's nice to just sort of dick about first. Like there's no real hurry for me to be rushing around becoming a badass. Uh, in these early stages of the game, we can just sort of like take our time, mill about, explore the world, um, and then like in later playthroughs, I'll go for more hardcore stuff and things. Basically, ones where it matters, where like the fields matter. Hey, look, there's some Thelonians here. Let's get rid of this crystal first. Nice level up. A bunch of rotting soldiers, that'll help out. Oh, my nose itches, man. That's not what I want. Wait, why won't you die? There you go. Um, they got some good stuff. They're not quite Isaacs, are they? Oh, that's pretty good, actually. The cunning's nice, but it's, I think it outweighs its value there. Foggy bunk. Wait, we've found this, haven't we? Oh, no, wait. This is a new one? Yeah, yeah, this is the Sodden Hollow one. Oh, excellent. Where am I on the map? Oh, it was super close to fighting that last time then. I just didn't... Alright. Let's progress anyway. I actually had some good news today. I got, uh, I've got an interview. Thursday I've got an... This kind of like recent. Oh, yeah, don't I find something pretty nearby? Um, 
I um I got I've got an interview on Thursday, which is like a mock interview for my university. So it's like a mock interview for a game design job that I would have like likely be applying to when I finish uni. Um, so I have to do that, uh, and then like after that, uh, oh sorry, before that, I've got uh, another interview, and it's for um uh, it's for a uh, a job like a new restaurant job that I've applied to. So like I've got to get dressed up. Go to the first interview. Like as soon as I finish that, I'm gonna go like eat for like ten minutes. I go straight to the second interview. It's crazy. Like I have literally no time on that day. Oh wait, there's a cave over here. Hmm. What's this? Is this that scary guy that I can't fight yet? Nope. This is Lotus Lith. Lotus Lith. Let's get my tornado going. Fuck your pots, assholes. So yeah, I've got like a load of stuff to do on that Thursday. Oh god, you're a boss, huh? Interesting. Well, I'm standing on that. I should not be standing on that. Oh no, cold damage is like the worst in this game. I swear to god, it's like literally just the most effective shit straight up. I want to clear off most of the AoE around him before I start fighting him. Do I have to pop it? No, I don't have to pop. I can heal here. And this guy's pretty tough. He's quite a few levels higher than me. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get rid of you. Let's do this. Oh, that freeze is brutal, man. Right. Oh, please. That skill's not ready. Probably take him down with just those, but it'd take a long time. You need to, like, skill up. Halfway through. I suppose that actually doesn't make all that many odds, because it's just, uh... No, Plizz. Plizz, I want to smack you. Yeah, I get smacked. Yeah, we can actually man up pretty well here. We've got potions in case we get in real trouble. That freeze is the only serious danger we get into. Right, he's not that tough. Ow. Ow. Yeah. You're right. Alright. Let's collect some delicious... Oh, nice. A freaking blue item. Hell yeah. Blue items being, like, um, constant legendaries. I think I've spoke about that before. How, like, blue items you'll be able to find uh, all the time. And it's just, like, they're, like, basically the best drops. Usually some of the best drops, anyway. Um. Oh, man. Bunch of good shit from this place. This game's been really, it's always been really good at that. It's always been really, really good at giving you um, just nice rewards with loot. Just, you know, really nicely designed loot drop system. Um, it always feels really rewarding. You never feel like you're grinding too much for nothing, right? Just well put together, really. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, do I really want that? It's actually not that amazing. It does more damage, which I kind of want, I guess. And it's green, which is cool, you know. Uh, two health regenerator per second, nine fire resistance, eight cold resistance. Yeah, why not? Uh, nope. No. Uh, I would do if I was this the right level, but I'm not the right level. It's just not not very cool. That really is it. The fact that all these things are like basically unusable. Yep. Ooh. Bleeding damage, 16% bleeding, cunning, attack speed. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sister's Amulet of Life Giving, but I mean, you need to be level 19. Wow, man. Why are you so mean, game? Game's so mean all the time. It doesn't let me equip things that I want to equip. But I, but I want them. But, but I want them. Cunning. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing now? Let's explore the rest of this cave. There's bound to be some good stuff around, right?
Oh, let me to reply to this. Okay, now you can die. <laughs> I was just stood there tanking it, like, and needs to reply to those messages real quick. Uh, I was kind of hoping there'd be an altar in here. It makes sense if there was one, right? Like, it's the kind of place where I'd find an altar, right? Don't touch me all there. I'm not seeing any altars here. Oh, this is definitely like an altar location. Ooh, Tonic of Mending. I need those. Those are mine. Uh, altar? No, no altar. Nothing, is there? I'm gonna have to leave this cave without an altar. It's gonna make me very sad inside. Oh no wait, there's another path there. Ooh, it extends. It extends. Interesting. Kinda sad I'm not doing the old build. I don't know why, but that build was so appealing, the uh, the old Nightblade cold build. I don't know. I guess I should really experiment with more of what the game has though. Okay, it's just an exit. Uh oh. Mmm. Well, I'm sipping. All of you die. I was sipping my drink. Ma, drink. Is it broke? Oh, oh god, no, I need to kill everyone before I can talk to you. Hang on. Hang on, bro. Priorities, priorities right now. Skill's not ready. Why isn't it ready? Ooh, scrap. Okay, alright. Everything dead now? Can I break these? Anything useful? Nope. Okay, now can I talk to my bro that I just saved? Oh, there's some boxes to smash. Thank goodness someone came. The Slith, they attacked my caravan, killed all my guards. I think I've only... The only reason they left me alive is so they could have my me fresh later as bastards. Uh, if I mention you, I have a few coins, yeah? I'm from Devil's Crossing. I can help you get back there. Don't kid yourself. Look at this blood. We're going to be able to just walk out of here. Appreciate the thought. But it might be better to just end it quick. You probably won't like this, but I can open a rift for you. The last thing I want is my legs to stay on this side while the rest of me goes back. But you're not giving me any alternatives, are you? Send me off then. I'm pretty sure this is safe. Um, I like this. This was something I really enjoyed. Because you start sending people back. Uh, that you then like go and see later on. Um... It kind of it reminded me a bit, like, when I played The Witcher, I sent, there was occasional times when I was like, oh, go to Camorn to certain people, you know? Um, and it reminded me of doing it in this, because uh, it was something that I found really interesting, like, in, you know, running into characters and then uh, telling them to return to the, to um, Devil's Crossing. Like, I, it, it never really had any impact in the earlier stages of the game, but I was always kind of hoping it would have an impact, uh, like, when, sorry, not, during the game's uh, early development, I was always kind of hoping that it would lead to something later. Though. I basically use that as my like regular attack now, huh? It's pretty good at it though. Okay, let's get out of here. This area's spooky, scary skeletons and robots in disguise. Give me things, yes. Give me all of those. I want all of those. You can, you can die. Where are we? Back on the road? Yeah, so that's where we went into that cave, right? Yeah, that is where we went into that cave. Definitely, right? That, not ready. that chipped claw, yo. Yeah? I don't want to be frozen. Get out. 
Ooh, slip necklace. I'll take that. Just keep along this road. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, who are you? 2,500 iron. I have that much iron, but that's a lot of iron to use. The alternative through this cave, isn't it? So, let's go through the cave. On a later playthrough, I might just repair the bridge because it's unnecessary to go through the cave, but for now, we can do the cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that the game gives you certain options, though. Even if, um... Even if those options aren't, like... You know, huge options, um, and they're not that dynamic. It's nice to have them in there. You know, it makes the game feel much more open. I always said that about the original Ratchet and Clank games on PS2. The fact that every time you started into a new planet on them, there was always like two or three um, directions you could go, so that like so that each planet felt pretty open. Um, and without like, while it wasn't you know truly open world, the game in that sense, like it made it feel so much more open. The fact that you had the just the choices to, to go between um, made such a big difference, like I thought. I always thought it was such a clever bit of design, really. Like, make the player think that they have loads of options, even if they don't have loads of options. I have no idea where I'm going right now, I'm just wandering around. Polished emerald. Give. Give. There we go. A take. A take. Follow me. Come. My babies, come. Claw fetish. That doesn't sound very nice. Oh, isn't this where there's... No, okay. No. My imagination, sorry. Ooh. Give. Sacrificial nice of something. Sounds pretty badass to me. I need to sneeze. Uh oh <coughs> Oy. That was me. That was a big sneeze. Oh, man. That was a very big sneeze. I think my head's gonna fall off. Head no feels so good after that sneeze. Alright, kill this. Yeah, kill everything. Oh, what a necklace skip. Oh, nice. There's some freaking level ups going on here. Bring that claw too. That shit's valuable, yeah. Oh my god, so many necklaces, dude. Oh, an altar. Let's put some more points in here, and then... Activate with all default weapon attacks. So essentially, it's just a cleave. That sounds like exactly what I want. To start. Oh, a rotting soldier. How oh, convenient. Oh, yeah, look, it looks like my attacks cleave now. So hang on, if I attack this guy. Yeah, now my basic attacks cleave. Or at least it seems like they do. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Excellent. Shrines already been restored, so I got a point, right? Yeah, cool. Oh, is this where it happens? No. Yes, here. Ancient Shambor. What up, bro? I know you have a boulder attack that fucks me up, and I'm waiting for it. 
Nope, that's not it. Oh, that's the stun though. I swear he used to have a boulder attack that would fuck me up. Oh no, maybe that's what I'm thinking of, that one. I'm actually just tanking this bitch. Toad's getting wrecked, dude. He's, he's definitely getting wrecked, look at him. Dude, wrecked so hard. I got chill steel. Just take a look at some of this. Ooh, a demonic tainted crossbow. Sounds badass, dude. Um. Ooh. Nine hundred concentration. Thirty percent physical damage. Damn, those elixirs are actually pretty sweet, huh? Probably use them at some point for something or other. We didn't really explore this cave fully, but I don't think it matters too much. We got through. We killed Nature at Shambor. I can't. It's strange that I'm like locked in here. It doesn't feel like I should be. That area feels more open than the map suggests it is. I can't break that log. That's saddening. And yet the map says I can go in. I can go in here. Weird. Weird. Portal. And I believe I run into some dudes. Yeah, I do. Oh wait, I can't do this. It's just still too much. Duncan. Hello, Traveller. If you find yourself going about these parts, I was wondering if you'd help us locate someone. I'm a bit tied up with the forge here. Someone's disappeared? My master, Angram, left our camp earlier today. He's intent on finding a group of survivors he considers worthy of our smithing talents. We don't exactly see eye to eye on the matter of who should we should be helping. Angram wants to field any army and take the fight to the Ethereals. I'd rather save as many as I can, whether they can fight or not. I want to help these people. Without with, but without my master's forging hammer, uh, the sacred Malum Mene, I won't be able to make anything worth a damn, Blacksmith. We could use you in Devil's Crossing. If you get Malum Mene back, I'll gladly join you in Devil's Crossing after I use it to help around here. Please seek out my master and get Malum Mene back. I saw him heading out to the northeast. He couldn't have gotten far. I'll find it. Fuck it, why not? Yellow. I miss real food. I'm used to eating this. This, I think it's meat. Where did it all go wrong? Well, I'm in there making a trade deal of my life. Next, I'm stuck in the middle of the woods saying somewhere. <laughs> I was gonna move to the estates. The estates, man. The estates. Cool. Alright, so there's some burrows there that we can, like, help out and shit at some point. Oh my god. Cage the elephant tickets go on sale soon. Holy fuck, I need those. What am I doing? Oh, there's oh, there's these dudes. I remember fighting these dudes. Okay, cool. Run into a new enemy type. Let's bash some of these guys in. I want to make sure this is doing cleave damage. I think it's doing cleave damage. They're, when they start using ranged enemies like this, they become actually really dangerous, these kind of style of dudes. It's kind of bad. I don't like it. See, like, my healing's pretty good still, but it's not keeping up with this, like, at all. Ow. Jesus, all so much loot, but so much useless loot as well. I swear there was an option in the menu to... Uh... Oh, you more corpse resistance. To like select what um up to what level of weapon you'd like to see. It's like if you if you don't wanna see like a certain lower hang on, is yeah. 
Like, if you don't want to see certain shitty weapons, you can, like, hide them, right? Huh, that was that Sith thing, not even the big, strong dude. I guess she was tougher, though. Who knows? Who freaking knows? I don't freaking know. Where am I? I'm here. Oh, damn, that hurt. She got fucking destroyed. Holy anus cakes. Oh, you're a boss dude, huh? Like a... You're like a real boss dude because you're orange. That means you're important, right? Ow, oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Am I going to have to use potions? I might have to use potions. No, I don't need these potions. Bring it on, dude. Fucking take your shit on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mash your face in. Still pretty tough, though. I'll give you that. Not so tough now. Now you're dead. Very, very dead. Oh yeah, that's where the bridge is, huh? Okay, so we came out of there. Let's pull the way back. I'm gonna have to call this episode a little bit short. I'm actually um, going out tonight. I've got to uh, go cook for myself. I need to make some fajitas. Um, also got a bunch of other things I need to be getting on with. This needs to render and upload tonight, so... I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit short, and I do apologize for that. That's that bro, the one I saved. Uh, none of this is actually useful to me, I don't think. So I'm gonna sell the shit out of loads of it. Well, they're not bad. We'll keep those for now. over here. Hmm. Hang on to a bunch of this stuff. Uh, can sell that. The rest of it I want to hang on to and keep. Because it's important stuff. And then I want to buy this and this. Because they're always good to have. Sup, Luther Greaves. Thanks for saving me back there. Turns out not all uh, the rest of me bad business. I've got to set up sup. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what would they give me? 300 XP. Devil's Crafting Reputation. Nice. So, I can buy some cracked lodestone. That's pretty useful. Kind of. Alright. Yeah. Can I use this bounty tables now then? Or do I need like a higher reputation? I need a higher reputation. That's a shame. Yeah, you sell me that cool stuff, don't you? Alright, what I'll do for now. Um, I made some pretty decent progress, actually, all things considered. We got some, like, some cool things. Uh, so how does this work, actually? How does this skill work? Can I... You can actually use that as a base attack then. I basically do use it as a base attack. I think it's nice to have this on as well. Yeah. I assume that this just procs them. So, name of the fighting man. You can activate it with all default weapon attacks. When used with a melee weapon, the attack strikes multiple enemy melee targets. 12% chance to be used. Oh, well, I see. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's a percent based thing. Okay. So I put some points into this as well. Uh, what's this do? Is what I'm thinking of. Yes, this is this is good too because this makes us run around. So we want to put points into this. Uh, and there's some other stuff that I want points in. I think somewhere around as well. Yeah, cool. I have a diversion point as well. Let's go further down our our dude. We're gonna complete this. Thingy me jiggy. What's this? What's affinity give us? I don't understand.
What, why do I need experience? I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe it levels up. Oh, it levels up. Maybe it levels up. That sounds pretty badass. Man, devotions are cool. All right. I'm getting excited, man. This game is it's progressing to something really cool. I think I'm actually going to try and stream it when I'm not playing through this on this playthrough. Who knows? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. My hat looks stupid. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grim Dawn.